In this video, we're going to take you through the commission-free trading platform Uphold. And we're going to take you through a full beginner's guide today, showing you how to buy, sell, hold and convert your assets. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those that you just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on Uphold, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about Uphold. Uphold is a multi-currency investment provider, which enables users to invest and exchange between various tradable assets. Since its launch, they've now gained over 10 million users who can buy, sell, hold, send, deposit, and withdraw any asset with as little as a pound. Unlike many other trading platforms, users can trade anything to anything, meaning that they can directly swap between cryptocurrencies and stablecoins, national currencies, precious metals and equities, helping you to reduce your fees and saving you time and money. Just note here though that the list of available options to trade with will depend on your location, as you can see from the drop down here, in terms of global, where all the options are available. Or more restricted countries like the UK, where you don't have access to precious metals and US equities. In terms of trading fees, Uphold does both 0% trading fees and zero deposit and withdrawal fees. However, it's not a free platform and they do charge a spread when you convert from one currency or asset to another. And as they state here, Uphold never lend out your money, so you'll always have it available to withdraw. And they provide some stats here to remain transparent. Uphold also have their own Uphold debit card, where users can choose to pay with their assets, whether or not they be crypto, metals or currencies. And you can earn 1% back in USD for every USD source transaction and 2% back in cryptocurrency used for every crypto purchase through the Uphold debit card. Uphold is available as a mobile app for iOS and Android or as a web platform. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all of this on the web platform. So let's jump into the walkthrough. To get started, you'll need to sign up or log into your account. If you don't already have an Uphold account, I'll put my link in the summary. Now, because Uphold is regulated, you're going to need to provide some personal information, such as your name, date of birth, and your telephone number. Plus, you'll need to verify your identity for actions such as withdrawing or sending funds. You'll also be warned with regards to the risks of crypto, and you need to tick a box stating that you've read the disclosure and you understand the risks. Where you'll then reach your portfolio. But before we start taking a look around, the first place that we'd recommend starting before you deposit any funds or assets into this type of platform is to secure it. So let's head across to the navigation bar on the far left of the screen. And at the bottom of there is an icon that looks a bit like three dots, which is for more. And then choose security. In here is where you can choose your authentication method. I personally use an authentication app, which can provide me with a one-time code for actions such as logging into my account. Then once your account is secured, let's head back to the portfolio tab, which again is on the navigation bar on the far left-hand side of the screen with a little graph icon. And the icon highlighted in green will be the screen that's currently active. Now, if there's been any new tokens added to Uphold, you'll see any notifications at the top of the screen here. Then there's a watch list where you can track asset prices and when you click onto any of the tradable assets, you can mark them as a favorite. And you can also view the coin's price, the change, high and low. Then there's a bit of information about that specific crypto. If we click onto the X in the top left, it'll take us back to the watch list. And underneath that is any recent activity. In the center is where we can track our portfolio and view our total balance at the top and then per asset underneath. As you can see, this is an existing account for me, so I do have some crypto and active balances already in here. On the right is the trading section, where you can trade anything to anything, which as I said at the start, will depend on your location. Under Transact, when you choose the From dropdown, this is where you'll see all the tradable assets available to you. And these are categorized and can be filtered by my accounts, banks, debit cards, crypto networks, other networks, and other payment methods. If you don't already have some crypto and you want to buy some with fiat currencies, you can do this either via a bank account or debit card. To add a bank account, choose the plus icon. Then choose your currency, which will obviously vary depending on your location. 
It will then provide some information in relation to regulations and how your funds are or aren't protected, which you'll need to understand. Then you'll be presented with the payment or the bank details, where you're going to need to send your funds across to. And when you send your funds across to here, you will need to ensure that you deposit it from a bank account in the same name. With Uphold, you can deposit or transfer funds with 0% fees from your bank account. Plus, you can also use this account to withdraw to later. I'm going to go ahead now and transfer £100 to here, which happened in just a couple of minutes. You can now see that my balance is updated under my total balance. And if we scroll through my portfolio, under National Currencies, I've got a GBB card showing up with £100. If you'd rather deposit funds with a debit card, you can click onto the plus icon to link a debit card and you can deposit your funds instantly. And you simply just need to add your card details into here. To buy crypto with a national currency, choose the From drop down and then GBP card. Then enter the amount that you'd like to spend or you can choose a percentage of your portfolio. You can then choose which asset you'd like to buy. In this example, I'm going to choose Bitcoin. And it will show you the price before you go ahead with your trade. Like I said, depending on your location, you could do the same here with not just Bitcoin or crypto. But you could also purchase the likes of gold or silver or US equities. Plus, you can also convert crypto to crypto and crypto back to fiat to effectively cash out. If you've got crypto in a wallet or over on an exchange or a different platform and you want to send it across to Uphold, First of all, you're going to need your wallet address to send it to. To deposit crypto, click onto the cryptocurrency that you'd like to deposit from the From list, which you'll find under the crypto networks. Or you can do the same thing from your portfolio if you're already holding that token. You'll then be presented with the QR code so that you can scan this with a mobile device. Or you can copy the wallet address from here too. Just ensure that when you are sending crypto, you are sending the correct type of crypto to the correct type of address. If you send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address, for example, you do risk losing your crypto. Therefore, we'd recommend sending across smaller test amounts first before sending across all of your crypto, especially if you're feeling a little bit nervous. But what if I've got Bitcoin and I want to sell this for GBP to essentially cash out? Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can exchange. First is an instant swap. So if you choose transact under anything to anything, in the from field, choose your Bitcoin account. Again, enter in the amount that you'd like to trade, or you can choose the percentage of your balance. Then state what you'd like to swap that for, and in this case will be GBP or pound sterling for me. Or you can use the search bar if you'll find that easier. And it'll let me know how much I'm going to get for my money. Plus the uphold conversion rate at the bottom. Now, if we preview our trade, it'll provide us with a summary of our transaction, their market rate, and when you're happy, you can confirm the trade. But what if you're not in too much of a hurry and you want to wait for the market to reach a certain price point before you go ahead and sell your Bitcoin? Well, in that case, you can create something called a limit order. So under anything to anything, if we choose the limit tab this time, the asset that I'm going to be trading from will be Bitcoin again, as I didn't go ahead with my previous trade. And I'm going to choose to sell it all by selecting Use Max. Then click to sell. Then it'll ask me my sell target price. And this is where I can dictate that if Bitcoin reaches a certain price, that I'd like to sell it. So if Bitcoin were to reach £30,000 again, I'd like to convert all of my Bitcoin to GBP. And it'll let me know an estimated amount of how much I'm going to get at this price. It then states that this is good till cancelled which means that the order will remain on order until it's either filled or I cancel it. But you can have specific time limits on here too. If we now preview, when we're happy, we can confirm the limit order. And you can also manage these limit orders too. So here I can view any active limit orders. Now, if, for example, you wanted to cancel your order before it's been executed, you can cancel it. So that if you've made a mistake, or if the market changed dramatically in the wrong direction, you can click cancel in the top right and confirm to cancel. And you can also find this option under activity on the far left, and then the limit tab at the top, which as you can see is ended now. 
If you have purchased crypto on Uphold, or if you've exchanged it to another crypto, it's worth mentioning that similar to other trading platforms like Coinbase or Binance, which I've got tutorials for, you won't actually have access to your private keys. Therefore, you are entrusting a third party and you've got less control over your funds. So if you wanted to send these to an external wallet, like a hardware wallet such as a Ledger or a Trezor, where you have control of your crypto and your private keys, then you can do this by selecting the token that you'd like to withdraw from your portfolio. Then choose to transact and use funds, where as it states, you can withdraw to a crypto network. On the right now is where you can enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw. I'm going to choose the Bitcoin network in the to field and any network withdrawal fee will show below. And you can then go ahead and preview your withdrawal. Then here is where you enter the address of where you want your crypto to be sent to. And this might be your receive address from your hardware wallet or a deposit address if you're sending this crypto across to another exchange or crypto platform. When you're happy, you can then confirm your withdrawal. Next, we're going to take a look at some of the other features. So we've got the activity view, which displays a list of your activities. And you can generate a report from here, which will send you an email and it'll list all the transaction history. When you select markets, there's a list of each different market available and you can search at the top and again view information for each asset. Then you have your integrations, where you can choose to link your wallet to any of the third party apps below. Now I've got mine linked to Brave Rewards, but there are some other ways that you can earn crypto, create crypto tax reporting, etc. Under More is where you'll find the option for staking. With staking, you choose the asset that you'd like to stake from their list of supported crypto. And as you can see, the highest rates here are currently with Carver, but these obviously will vary. Once you've chosen that, it'll provide you with some information. And you can see this will take up to four days until you'll start generating rewards. The payout day is on a Thursday, and it'll take around three days to unstake. When you start staking, they'll create an account. And you choose the amount that you'd like to stake and then you'll start earning weekly rewards automatically each week. And if you want to get the best rates and you don't hold the tokens in this example like Carver, you can always swap for some within Uphold. You also have links under more for security, linked accounts, notifications, their help center, and a way that you can manually log out of your account. And your mobile app will have the exact same functionality inbuilt and it mirrors the web app. So that was our beginner's guide to the Uphold web platform. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.